Now let's take a look at cycloalkanes and their conformation and how you draw them. Cycloalkane means an alkane in a ring. If there are no pi bonds, the chemical formula will be CnH2n, and all of the carbons will be sp3 hybridized. Cyclopropane, for instance, is C3H6. Or it can be drawn like that. Or the bond line structure is just a triangle. Here's cyclopropane drawn with all of the atoms shown. And what's interesting is that since there are three atoms, they are necessarily coplanar. But this creates some significant challenges for cyclopropane. If we make a Newman projection for cyclopropane looking down one of the bonds, we see that the hydrogens are eclipsed. And in fact, there are six eclipsing interactions because this pair is also eclipsed, as is this pair, and this pair, and this pair. Those eclipsing interactions make cyclopropane unstable, and we refer to that as torsional strain. The bond angles in cyclopropane are all 60 degrees, which deviates significantly from the ideal bond angle of 109.5 degrees. We call this angle strain. When you combine the effects of torsional strain and angle strain together, it's called ring strain. Cyclopropane has maximal ring strain. Cyclobutane has four carbons in a ring and has the chemical formula C2H8. Here's a partially condensed structure, and here's a bond line structure. Now, if this were planar, the bond angles would be 90 degrees and everything would be eclipsed. In fact, what cyclobutane does is it adopts what's called a puckered conformation. And you can imagine, it's kind of like folding the molecule slightly down the diagonal, bringing this corner and this corner up slightly. So in the puckered conformation, as far as angle strain, these two angles are slightly more than 90 degrees and these two are slightly less. So its angle strain is a wash. The torsional strain, however, is another matter. In the puckered conformation, all eight of our eclipsing interactions are relieved. So the puckered conformation has zero torsional strain, whereas the planar conformation has lots of torsional strain. So having zero torsional strain means the puckered conformation is the preferred conformation for cyclobutane. Planar cyclopentane would be a pentagon with five sides and two eclipsing interactions per side. No, yes, two. So that would be 10 eclipsing interactions in the planar configuration. So what cyclopentane does is kind of think of an envelope fold where we take this carbon that's at the tip of the pentagon and we fold it slightly up and out of the plane. Making that slight alteration, the envelope fold means these two carbons are no longer eclipsed, nor are these, nor are these, nor are these.
However, we still have an eclipsing interaction here and an eclipsing interaction here. So, we get two eclipsing interactions. So, a lot less torsional strain there. And as far as angle strain goes, the internal angle of a regular pentagon 108 degrees. So we're pretty close to ideal, and making that envelope fold doesn't um, change the angles all that much. So, bottom line, having this one corner of the cyclopentane folded up like an envelope gives us much less ring strain. Cyclohexane has the chemical formula C6, H12. So in planar cyclohexane, you'll have 12 eclipsing interactions and a 120 degree angle. But cyclohexane actually has a conformation called a chair that has zero ring strain, zero torsional strain and zero angle strain. Here's how it works. Imagine you do an envelope type fold here fold that carbon down out of the plane just a little bit, do another fold here, but fold this carbon up out of the plane just a little bit. So now if we're looking at the chair conformation such that these four carbons are still in the plane, this one's above the plane, and this one's below the plane, this is what it looks like. Now, instead of looking down at it, if we look at it from the side, putting our left eye here and our right eye here, then we can see the chair. And here's the bond line structure of the chair. The carbon that got folded down, or the footrest of the chair, is there. The carbon that got folded up, or the headrest of the chair, is there. And then you can see your knees go over that fold and your butt sits down in that fold and it's kind of like a poolside chase lounge. Now if we look at it from here, putting our left eye to look down this bond axis and our right eye to look down this bond axis, we can actually see a Newman projection. And here is what our Newman projection looks like. This carbon here is this one. Here's the headrest here in our Newman projection, and of course there are two hydrogens attached here as well. This front carbon here in our Newman projection corresponds to this carbon. These two are our back carbons represented by this circle and this circle. The footrest is here. So the chair has zero eclipsing interactions and the bond angles are all 109.5 degrees so zero strain